The Quest 3 just dropped, and many of you are probably wondering, is it worth upgrading from the reliable Quest 2? Well, today we're going to be conducting a number of performance tests in the popular VR game, Rec Room. If you've never heard of it, it's completely free to play. It's tons of fun. And if you like this video, you can even consider adding me as a friend in game and hitting the support button in my profile. Chubby or snail, ooh. We'll dive into the performance test, including my favorite one at the end, where we see how many paint mines it takes to crash each headset. But we have to start off by talking about the Quest 3's pass-through. This is actually the coolest thing ever. Maybe it looks a little wonky on camera, but it is so much better than the Quest 2. Long gone are the days where you kind of have to look up like this and pray that you can kind of see through the bottom little hole here what's going on in your phone. Now you can just straight up use your phone through pass-through. Everything is super colorful. The depth perception is good enough where you can do basic tasks. And overall, I feel a lot more safe wearing it. Now onto the performance test. We're going to see which headset can boot up the game rec room faster. You have the Quest 2 and the Quest 3. Now, I will say, honestly, this is at 200% speed. It does take a little while for the game to get booted, and I don't want you watching all day. But the Quest 3 is off to the races already. Quest 2 hasn't even come into the picture. Quest 3 is well on its way. And if you give it another 3, 2, 1, and go, you're officially in. Stop the timer for the Quest 3. Meanwhile, Quest 2 is lollygagging, trying its best, straggling pretty far behind. And as we're going to see right here, it takes about 20 full seconds more to hop into the game on Quest 2. If you play Rec Room every day for a year, 20 seconds a day is two hours of your life that you get back. That's a significant amount of time. So the Quest 3 clearly wins here. Now I'll show you a few side-by-side -side frames of the Quest 2 and the Quest 3. I'm waving in both, looking cute in both, but in my opinion, a little cuter in the Quest 3, just because I'm a little more crisp, a little more clear with the resolution. I don't think that these recordings do it justice. When you have the headsets on, it's a lot more noticeable with the screens right at your face, but I think this is just a recording limitation at this point in time. Right now, we're doing another test to see if we load into the rec center faster on one headset or the other, and I'll be honest here, I think it's basically a wash. The Quest 3 was slightly faster, maybe a second faster, but that wasn't really a significant amount of time. Certainly not the same amount of time as the loading screen. Now we're just looking around the rec center, showing you a few other shots of things you might encounter. This is the shop in game. Again, consider using code SNAIL. So that support code, it's awesome. It really helps me out. But, uh, you know, things look pretty similar here. A little more crisp in the Quest 3, as we saw. Same story as before. But now we're going to show you the real reason why the Quest 3 is better. Look at this, ready? We're going to play some basketball. On the right in the Quest 3, boom! Certified swish! Quest 2, I missed it. That means the Quest 2's physics are worse. I'm, I'm just kidding. It just happened to miss it. It's not worse or better. It's pretty similar. But now we have this really cinematic shot, only ruined by this person throwing a bucket at me. I don't know why they're so rude. And I love this coffee pouring comparison because to me, you could see with the coffee pours, it's just a little more smooth than the Quest 3. Certainly more smooth when you're in the headset. But nothing is more profound than the paintball test. This is when I really noticed the difference between the two headsets. Now, when I was playing paintball, everything was just a lot more fluid. I, I couldn't give you a true side-by-side -side comparison here because it's a game of paintball. It's random and I can't copy the same movements, but you can just kind of observe on both screens that on the Quest 2, it's working fine. On the Quest 3, the frame rate was so much better. I promise you. I don't know if it's the default higher refresh rate that's on the Quest 3, or maybe it's just better at running the game. Probably a combination of both. It feels a lot more premium on the Quest 3. Now, before we dive into my favorite test, which is the explosive paint mines, I wanted to talk about a few more intangibles that come with the Quest 3. The first thing are these pancake lenses. They're basically one flat screen, and they're a lot more clear than the lenses that come with the Quest 2. I don't know if you can see it here, but they kind of have this ring structure around them, and that can to some weird visual experiences such as god lines where the light is just kind of dispersed oddly but the pancake lenses are amazing you can see things so much more clearly than the quest 2 the next thing i wanted to talk about is the haptics in the controllers i don't want to sound weird but the haptics are so satisfying like you just gotta try it when you point at something on the menu your controller just goes it feels so cool or when you high five players in game you get a nice bit of feedback too small things like this definitely improve player experience and last but not least we already talked about the pass through which is a wicked cool quality of life improvement so thumbs up to the quest 3 but on to the final test the paint mine test you can see here 139 paint mines on each screen that is the maximum that rec room allows you to spawn at once at least by the default settings so i set them all up it was lots of fun and you can see them go off in three two one now, both the games got a bit laggy here. Unfortunately, none of them crashed, which was a bit surprising. But the Quest 3 clearly handled it better. So is it worth it to upgrade to the Quest 3? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to learn more about the game Rec Room, be sure to check out this video here where I race the fastest Quester in Rec Room history. He is so good at what he does. It's a wonderful race. Find out who wins by clicking on it. Go ahead. Thank you all for watching, and remember, stay chubby. Grah!